John Pavlovitz put out an article, does not surprise me at all. We've seen this type of article over and over again. Have we made the Bible into an idol? And uh, it is your... Well, let me just give you a, a line here. We believe that the fixed words of the Bible are, as it says, living and active, but do we believe that God is not? The only religious worldview that makes the Bible the last and only word is that of a God who is no longer living. So, if your understanding of Sola Scriptura and Tota Scriptura is not deep and passionate, it is liable to being undercut by this kind of material. It's all over out there. You need to be aware that it's out there. You need to think it through. Um, they will always, always use a tremendous amount of truth to promote just enough of a lie to destroy your faith. That's what these folks are all about. And... I've seen, folks, I've seen this for years and years and years. It's what we try to help lay the foundation, encourage you in those ways. Um, pastors, you have got to make it a part of your regular presentation to um, increase your, your, your flocks, un not only understanding the word, but their understanding of why the word is sufficient. The beauty of that collection of divine words, 1,500 years, 40 different authors, the unity that it has, and yet its great diversity of expression, so that the highest psalms and the lowest dark periods of judges are all a part of the same revelation. It, there is... Sometimes we just sort of take it for granted and hope that God will get that in there. We need to emphasize it all the more. I say it to all my fellow pastors in that way.